welcome back. Claire 48 in the studio, city council candidate. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Now, a, a lot of candidates came in, you know, ha have talked to us about the very important upcoming election for city council. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're coming in to talk to us. So I think the first thing is uh, let people get to know a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Um, well, first of all, I've been in Lake Tahoe for 17 <coughs> years. I started as the editor of the Tahoe Tribune. And I have also owned a busy medical practice in town, um, which uh, I ran for, uh, gosh, almost six years. And finally, I went back to UNR and got my master's in environmental journalism with a focus on Lake Tahoe. So I am back here, back in, I've actually I've never left the hometown, but I was in Reno for a little while. Um, and I'm here because I am passionately committed to changing our town. We need some work needs to happen. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe what made you transition from, uh, you know, the private sector over to public service? Um, because, two, two reasons. One is that the business itself closed and did so for a number of reasons. And, um, but the second reason is, is that I have the time and I have the passion and I absolutely believe that we need to save Tahoe right now. Yeah, absolutely. I, I see a couple big problems. We were talking over the break, and I think the most important thing is we need to bring the, the destination tourists back to Tahoe, and I think we need to maintain jobs and maintain population. And so maybe from my standpoint, someone who, who works in the community, who is scared um, being in their 20s in a community that is, you know, floundering, how can, how can you come and stabilize us and say, hey, guys, there is a future for people my age? Yeah, it's a tough call. I mean, it really is. But one of the things that we have to realize is that Tahoe's economy has been slipping long before the national economy has. We are a changing community in so many ways. Um, the once powerful casino core is no longer the driver of this economy, and we've got to rethink it. And the best way to rethink it is as a recreation destination. This should be the place that the world comes to play. And I think that as a community and as a region, we're beginning to understand that. They're realizing that it's about the lake, it's about the fun, it's about what can be done here. Specifically, what can city council do about it? A number of things. One is, what is our recreation plan? Um, everything from AYSO to the Olympics. How do we draw people here? Um, we've had several developments recently, including uh, the purchase of North Star by Vail, that starts to con consolidate and solidify what we offer as a region, specifically as a community. We need to work on our bike paths. We have got to look at what we want to do to attract groups like the Come Up for Air group, which was 92 teams here for a weekend and spent $3 million dollars. These are the kinds, the Amgen tour. I was, I was just thinking that, yeah. that. I mean, so huge for Lake Tahoe. Absolutely. And the fact that we got it, secured it, is a real hats off to the LTVA and a real hats off to the community. So it's starting. It's there. I think the city needs to play a leadership role instead of just kind of sitting back and waiting for it to happen. We need to be out in front of it. We need to really be looking at what we can do to, to bring recreation as a premier attraction here. Yeah, I definitely think uh, being, taking a proactive approach uh, is paramount to us having any success uh, for the future of Lake Tahoe. And I know you, you, we were talking to the break, you, you feel that there's kind of some misperceptions about the TRPA. Uh, being this all-powerful all monger, I, w I would guess, you know, that, that so many people make it out to be. Well, you know, I mean, what, of all the things that unite Tahoeans, if you will, the one thing you can put everybody in a room, and they may disagree about the airport, they may disagree about bike paths, but every single one will absolutely agree that they have a horror story about the TRPA. That being said, I think it's really important for us to realize that right here and now, the TRPA is changing. Now, there's one city council candidate who believes that he can walk in and essentially pull the plug on the TRPA simply by the city not bothering, not paying attention. We'll write our own rules, and the TRPA can come sue us. The reality there is the TRPA was put in place because two state governments, a federal uh, and Congress, and a president established the TRPA for specific reasons. 
there is a way of changing the TRPA, and it is right here and now. And the way we do it is through the TRPA regional plan. We have the power to change the rules, but we need to be paying attention, not trying to nuke the TRPA, which isn't the same thing as saying that the TRPA is, you know, this great and wondrous um, agency that doesn't need change. It does. We need to streamline the rules. We need to consider what these rules are doing to us as a community and as a region. But the time to act is now. And the time and the way to act is not simply deciding to declare war with the TRPA. Yep. That's just more of the same. You know, you can sense it in someone's voice when they're passionate about the community, and I definitely hear it from you. So if people want more information about how they can, uh, you know, maybe help you out as far as the campaign, I know it's getting close to voting, or uh, where to vote, how can they get that info? Uh, first of all, um, I'm available on 40A4, the number 4, Tahoe.org. I'm also going to be at uh, Steamers tonight, right in the middle of the World Series. Come by, ask a question of Claire, and you'll get a reduced two dollars off on a beer. I will be at Apre Ski on um, on Thursday, 5:30 to 7. Same same deal, uh, reduced price on wine. And then Friday morning, I will be at Alpen Sierra for coffee with Claire from 7:30 to 9. Thanks. Right on, Claire. Thank you for Appreciate taking the it. time to join us. Thank Claire you. Claire Fortier for City Council candidate. You can find out more information. Go to fortier4tahoe.org. We'll be right back with more of Lake Tahoe TV's Tahoe Today.